These are just dry, Mr. Campbell. Major Campbell. Beg pardon? That doesn't matter. Are there any other Irishmen lodging in this house? No, Mr. Campbell. I keep a respectable house. With your special exception, I have no Irish here. Well, let me know if any come inquiring after rooms. Even if you turn them away, let me know, would you? You're not expecting trouble, I hope. Bernie said you was a policeman of some sort. No, I'm not expecting any trouble. Is there a cafe nearby? Sells chops, lamb or pork? There is a chop house two streets away. But I myself serve sandwiches, egg and cress, or ham, or anything that pleases you. No, no, no. I, I think I'll go out and get some air. Our scheduled meeting is not until Sunday. Sorry to bring it forward. <clears throat> you just wanted to show me that you know where I live, isn't that it? Am I supposed to be impressed? You know, Mr. Churchill was impressed. Yes, he was. All my demands have been met. Did he tell you? Yes. Yes, we had a meeting and your letter was read aloud. As a matter of fact, there was quite a lot of hilarity at the meeting. The gentlemen all found it quite funny. <laughs> I see, the gentlemen found it funny. Tell me this, Mr. Campbell. <clears throat> Do the gentlemen sometimes find you funny? We will discuss our business on Sunday. On the agreed day at the allotted time and at the place that has already been determined. You made your point. Good night, Mr. Shelby. <clears throat> there was another reason I came to see you tonight. Just didn't want you to be made a fool of, is all. The lodgings. Chosen for you by the police department. How shall I put this? Well, your landlady used to run the most famous ore house in Stetchford. She's only semi-retired. I bet the gentleman would find that funny, eh? Told to you in the spirit of friendship and cooperation. See you someday. <laughs>